Okay, he went on from there. There were two um, Parkland fathers there who lost children in the Parkland mm. shooting. One of them stood up to protest Gates's remarks about the border here, and um, Gates actually wanted to have him removed from the hearing. Was this appropriate? What do you make of this? Well, exchange. obviously that's a violation of the rules, you know, in terms of standing up and protesting. However, I think that uh, Matt Gates could have been much more sensitive with this topic. It is a hot button issue, especially those who've lost loved ones right. in the shootings. Um, I have to say, because I belong to the NRA, obviously I'm against any infringement on the Second Amendment rights. However, there is a huge problem in our vetting system, just like there was a disconnect in 9-11 between mm -hmm. the CIA and the FBI, for right. example. So the, the shooter, for example, in South Carolina, uh, when he went through the Nick's background check, they forgot, I mean, they overlooked the fact that he had had a criminal offense, drug possession, for example. Right. The shooter Paddock, Las Vegas, he amassed over 47 guns. There again was a disconnect among states, and they failed to pick up that he was purchasing multiple guns. Uh, the Air Force uh, involving the uh, Sutherland shooters uh, uh, individual as well, who was also mentally ill. Uh, failed to disclose uh, to the FBI that he had um, been court-martialed mm. and had assaulted his wife and child. So there are areas where common sense uh, enforcement or, or help, particularly with the FBI who and the NICS system, which are overloaded with background checks. So common sense gun laws uh, could help.